right? If you read carefully, try to make sense of the words, try to make sense of the numbers, try to make sense of the picture, the metric ruler, you're going to do better. John Kalunga once dreamed of being a doctor. Now he can't imagine doing anything else but reaching and teaching kids. And he'll do whatever it takes. Yes, you just saw John Kalunga running as fast as he can while his students are timing and measuring his strides. It's all part of a lesson on measurement. But according to his students, and even Mr. Kalunga himself, science and math are just the beginning. I'm not only going to teach you about science, prepare you for, you know, uh, college level, you know, chemistry and things like that. Uh, what you're going to see is that I'm going to teach you a little bit about life. And boy, does John Kalunga have a lot to share. He has faced his share of adversity. John's mother died when he was only four days old. His father never remarried, and John and his twin brother were raised in a single-parent household. But you know, when you're a kid, you don't really see, you don't really realize that you're missing out on something or something's not right because, you know, people step in. And some of the people that stepped in to make my life as normal as possible were my teachers. And it was those teachers that John says inspired him to be the teacher he is today. A teacher with a huge heart and expectations that his students will succeed. You need to, you need to show up every day and that's half the battle. Then when you're here, I need you to give me your attention because then I will take you where you need to be. Amanda Stowe says she gave Mr. Kalunga that chance, and in turn, he gave her much more. Amanda graduated from Coles High School last year. Today, she is an articulate young mother, poised enough and confident enough to share her story. I was raising my daughter alone. I was having problems with her dad, so I was very upset a lot of the time and very, like, wanted to give up and stuff, but he never let me give up. Amanda says Mr. Kalunga is a great listener, but more importantly, he is a teacher who helped her realize she can do anything. Like chemistry, it's, it was hard for me, so I never really got it. So on my own time, I'd go in there, like when I didn't have class, I'd go in there and I learned chemistry in one day. And that was hard. It was hard for me, but he sat down and he was like, this is what you do and do it this way. It might help you this way. And it did. I learned it in one day. It was awesome. Back outside, on the south side of Coles High School, John Kalunga's students are learning how to use two distinct sets of data to calculate distance. But more importantly, they are having fun doing it. When you come into this classroom, I want you to feel like it's third grade again, where, you know, you wanted to see your teacher, you know? You wanted to see your friends, and you wanted to have fun, but have fun learning. Fun fits right in at Coles High School. And so does John Kalunga. He just loves kids. And his colleagues will tell you, it's his smile, it's his positive attitudes. When he walks down the hallway, it's, he's greeting the students, shaking their hands, building connections. He gets to know them, plays basketball with them, and they love him. Reminders like these are never far behind. Notes of gratitude, encouragement, and affirmation. But sometimes, the best reminders are of the students themselves and the obstacles they continue to conquer. <laughs>